In this video, we're going to explore 10 secrets and tiny details you probably missed during the heist in Cyberpunk 2077. Number 1. The Iguana If you chose the Nomad background, you'll get some unique dialogue related to the prologue quest where Jackie and V smuggle an iguana into Night City. Hmm. Hey, look, V. Another iguana. Shit, you're right. I think it's the same one. Ah, no way. Our guy had a second neck. Many, many foods. Man, I guess some people will do anything for money. Speaking of which, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Let me ask you a question. What are you doing right now? Lying in bed watching YouTube videos again? Well, you could be slaying powerful demons and tackling challenging dungeons with a team of badass babes. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team and transcend loneliness by collecting video game characters. Me? I'm mainly here for the ladies. Let me tell you about my favorite waifus in Raid Shadow Legends. I love my women like my coffee, tall, dark, and full of ice which is why Glacia Soul Guide is the perfect champion for me. She's the Ice Queen, known for vanquishing opponents with her glittering smash ability. You could also use Venus, a powerful support champion who can crack opponents' defenses with burning passion and pining abilities. She can debuff me any day. There's never been a better time to start playing Raid because they just released a super-powered version of the Death Knight. This new Ultimate Death Knight can take your team to the next level in swag and combat power. And the best part is everyone can get him for free just by logging in for 7 days between now and October 27. Do not miss new features, Awakening and Iron Twins Fortress. If you're good enough to take down the Iron Twins, you'll see a huge payoff being able to awaken your champions. Use promo code DKRISES to instantly upgrade your Death Knight to level 50. Download Raid Shadow Legends by using my link in the description or scanning the QR code. For the next 30 days, new players can unlock the free epic champion Tayrell, 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard. Big shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Number 2. What happens when you don't hide? After Jackie and V klept the biochip, they get trapped in the penthouse suite when Yorinobu and Saburo unexpectedly arrive. During this sequence, you need to hide inside a pillar with Jackie and wait for an opportunity to escape. But if you don't hide in time, you'll get a unique encounter with Adam Smasher. Red initiated. Interesting. Number 3. Failing to stall at the reception desk There are a number of unique dialogue options and conversations in Cyberpunk that only occur when you mess up. If you don't hide your cover at the reception desk, T-Bug has to step in to save the day. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. What the hell, V? I said stall. Hello, this is the reception desk. Apologies for any disturbance. Stevie Shaviro, assistant to Takisan. How can I help you? I'm in the process of checking in a mister. Victorino. Good, he's arrived. Please send him upstairs immediately. Of course, right away. Takisan is expecting you. He awaits. What the hell, V? I said stall. Do I gotta do everything? Sorry, I just blanked. Number four, Jackie feels awkward hanging around the bar. If you don't respond to Jackie's question, you'll get a few lines of unique dialogue here. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Hello. Shit. Looks like some traveling salesman with this case. Going upstairs. Number 5. Saburo's Rooftop AV After Saburo and T-Bug bite the dust, Jackie and V need to find an escape route. 
The waypoint directs you through the double doors, but you can actually go to the rooftop and attempt to hijack Saburo's AV. After dispatching with the guards, Jackie and V realize that neither of them can pilot the vehicle. Well, forget trying to pilot this thing. Don't know what I was expecting. But the trip is not a complete waste because you will get Saburo's iconic katana called Satori. There is also a journal that details Saburo's plans to visit Night City to deal with his son. He even talks about nuking Night City and wiping it off the map, but Hanako encouraged him to stay his hand. The guy was a real psychopath, so I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Number 6. Yurinobu's Outfit and Gun Before you leave the penthouse, don't forget to grab Yurinobu's Fit, which is stored in a suitcase near the rooftop staircase. You can also grab Yurinobu's iconic handgun, Kongu, from the nightstand next to his bed. Looks like Yorinobu left us a parting gift. Ain't much, but it'll have to do. Number seven. What happens if you don't jump? Jump! Well, what did you think was gonna happen? Number eight. Delamain knows who you are. During your trip to Konpeki Plaza, Dexter Deshawn arranged transport with Delamain's premium service. Dex provided fake names for Jackie and V, but when Jackie calls up Delamain to pick you up after the heist goes sideways, Delamain answers with Jackie's real name, which makes me wonder if our bald AI friend knew our identities the entire time. Del, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Number 9. The Silent Protagonist Jackie's death scene is one of the saddest moments of the game, where he and V share some heartfelt final moments together. But each of the dialogue options is on a timer, and if you choose to do nothing, V just remains silent for almost the entire scene, leading to one of the most unintentionally awkward scenes of the game. Diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells's condition is critical. Mr. Wells's external iliac artery has ruptured. Internal hemorrhaging is severe. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. Number 10. Dexter's Escape Plan When you meet up with Dex in the Notel Motel, he will tell you to clean up in the bathroom before trying to kill you. But if you stay in the room, you can listen in on some unique dialogue Dex has, booking himself a one-way trip out of Night City. Yeah, satellite boat. Today. No, can't wait till dawn. One seat. I'll pay the premium. Spaceport Terminal 4. Got it. If you wait around too long, Dex's bodyguard will just pistol whip you before you ever have a chance to go to the restroom. So what's the plan? I guess the quiet life ain't for us after all. So there you have it. 10 secrets and tiny details you may have missed during the heist in Cyberpunk 2077. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.